Okay. Grand Rising, my people. Um, just wanted to come on here and I am just got my um sacred woman book. So I am going to be sharing it with you guys. Um I've already started to read some of the pages, but I thought it was interesting to, you know, share some of the things that I'm going to uh, be going through in the sacred woman. So let me get started um, in my book too. The sacred woman. It's really cool. Um, pictures. And right here it says, I am a distinctive, beautiful flower and a healing herb with a heart, a mind, breast, buttocks, and a womb. I come with sacred earth medicine to heal myself. That's beautiful. And this right here just got the table of contents. Uh, preparing together the gates of sacred woman training. Well, as I told y'all, I've already um, started reading this. But um, it's actually page two. Um, I'm going to skip over some stuff um, so that I'm going to be um, reading with you guys. But... Um, sorry, I'm going to go to the first page. Uh, nah, I'm sorry. I'm going to skip to Judgment Day. And every day of our ancestors have told us. It says, many of the health books on the market today convey a sense that we need only to treat health as an accessory. One that we can buy at a department store. Just as we buy a pair of earrings. Well, it's simply not true. We get confused by our commerce way of thinking, which says that if only we have this car or that brand name clothing or the stereo system or that house, all things outside of self, then everything will be fine. But you just can't buy good health, no matter how much money you have, what kind of possessions you have, how many degrees you've earned what job title you hold, or what neighborhood you live in. You have to plan and cultivate good health. You have to commit to good health. You have to live good health because it comes from the inside out. It comes from what you bring in your life. Positive, empowering, thoughts, prayers, affirmation, uplifting, company, high quality, life-giving foods. And to have excellent health, you must invest time and energy into the transformations of your sacred body temple. And once you acquire excellent health, you must maintain it vigilantly. That's the true divine challenge, one that you can and must meet. The state of the womb reflects the state of the life of your life. The womb is a gateway of all human life. When a woman is honored and respected, she becomes a channel of power, creativity, and beauty. Beauty, Joy reigns on earth. Whenever her voice goes unheard, unanswered, denied, the womb becomes a vessel of disease. The collective state of woman's womb reflects the condition of the world. When so many women's wombs suffer from tumors, cysts, fibroid, heavy menstrual bleeding, when so many women experience sexual aggressiveness acts, unnecessary hysterectomies, the condition of the womb also directly reflects the condition of the woman's mind, spirit, and actions. The womb is a storehouse of all our emotions. It collects every feeling, good and bad. Today, we have collectively reached a state of negative womb power unnatural living and unhealthy lifestyles perpetrate negative womb powers and this is in ter terms supports the conflict 
of humans against the planet. Humans against humans and women's against the womb. The condition of the woman's womb also reflects the condition of all her relationships. When a woman's womb is in a healthy state, her life is a reflection of this balance. The love and the care that a woman gives to her womb reflects her true level of emotional, no spiritual, physical, and mental health. Unfortunately, too many women in today's world experience some form of womb degeneration that results in disease. As we women heal and transform our wombs, we will change our destiny and the destiny of the planet. Woman, it is time to take back control. We must defend our womb with our lives, for the womb is the birthplace of our creative abilities hmm. that's deep right there i'm just gonna leave that right there so i'm getting ready to go on this journey to see you know to cleanse There's some things that i need to do too for my my being i've already been celibate for a while so i don't partake of in a sexual acts and the things that's coming into me um I'm always up if anybody that knows me um I'm pretty much good with my energy and who I let into my temple and who I let into my home space and then when it's not a good being, I have to smudge and and purge and you know get them out of the portals of my space so okay um that's today's morning mental september 3rd 2020 you have now been plugged into travia's creations the godmother of three creations travia versus radio